If you enjoy learning about how your body responds to food, exercise, stress, and so much more, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's learn more about how you can optimize your exercise performance by tracking blood sugar. Hey you guys, I'm Austin, and I'm sure you know by now that what we eat has a huge impact on our glucose levels. But were you also aware that getting up and moving your body can also play a crucial role in managing blood sugar? Physical exercise, including walking, jogging, high-intensity interval training, and resistance training with weights, can change our cells' ability to take up and use glucose, and in turn, increase our metabolic fitness. Exercise may also improve the function of pancreatic beta cells, help us burn more fat between meals, and raise the number of mitochondria we have in our cells. Glucose and fat are actually our body's two reigning sources of fuel. Ideally, we're able to easily switch between them through metabolic flexibility. This process is impacted by our exercise routines, our physical state, and what we eat. In most people, the switch in energy use from glucose to fats happens with moderate endurance exercise. However, in high intensity anaerobic activities, glucose generally becomes the primary fuel source. The term bonking describes the unfortunate instances where athletes run out of glucose in the form of glycogen and they experience debilitating fatigue. In order to prevent this, they often prepare themselves by carb loading, which is consuming hefty amounts of pasta, bread, and other high carb foods to pack their bodies with glucose before intense workouts, game days, and competitions. This approach has been common for a while, but more recent research reveals that burning fat could be a more successful strategy for energy than filling up on carbs. Calories stored as fat are a nearly unlimited source of energy for long duration exertion. If we can shift our metabolism to efficiently use fat instead of sugar, we have the opportunity to enhance athletic performance and endurance. A low carb diet is great for stimulating this metabolic shift keeping glucose levels low and forming an abundance of fuel through ketones and glucose precursors. Athletes who embrace this lifestyle are able to burn fat at significantly higher rates and recover faster from prolonged exercise thanks to fat burning byproducts. But even without a change in diet, studies have shown that physical training can do wonders all on its own. Exercise cranks up the body's fat burning rates through fatty acid oxidation, which indicates that fat may be a better energy pathway for longer workouts. Tracking glucose can offer a deeper look at how movement motivates our metabolism. For example, if you're using CGM to see your post-meal glucose levels, you may find that you get better results from doing your daily run after dinner instead of in the morning. Glucose awareness gives keen insight into the best timing and type of exercise routine for every individual. And measuring blood sugar can also encourage you to work out more often. Studies suggest that real-time, individualized feedback on glucose levels can inspire people to push themselves a little further and really make the most of physical fitness. Real-time feedback also shows you that workouts don't have to be long in order for them to be beneficial. In fact, a large body of research shows that you don't have to spend all day in the gym to see great results. Just 30 minutes of moderate aerobic activity at least three times a week improves insulin resistance and glycemic control, including fasting glucose levels. A good workout won't look the same for everyone, so tailor your exercise regimen to activities that you find enriching, empowering, and most importantly, enjoyable. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.